What is up, YouTubers? Clayton and Taylor back with more Schlock or Rock. Today's disaster piece, Princess of Mars. This is uh, happens to be a John Carter film. Mm. Uh, before, I think you were saying before the Disney remake or whatever. I think, I think that one was like 2011 or 12, somewhere around there. It was a few years after this, I'm I, pretty sure. I need to make a comment here about the thing, the fact that Disney did a John Carter movie. Yeah. Have you ever seen the original comic? There are tits everywhere. No, well, I mean, the original novel. I've... Well, it's... novel, there was also a comic. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure the original novel had tits everywhere, Oh, too. probably. It's Edgar Rice Burroughs. This man made fucking... Uh, Tarzan. Tarzan, stuff like that. And the there's, kid. oh, those some crazy I mean, this shit. is this is the kind of stuff that's like... Uh, it's kind of conan -y sort of stuff and that sort of thing. It's, yeah. it's like swashbuckling it's, adventure. It's sci-fi conan. Uh, conan Basically, kind of yeah. It's the first isekai. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it is. I mean, probably not the first, but it is an isekai. It's Western isekai. Oh, I'm sure there's tons of those old, those old serial sci-fi things that did the same idea. Probably. Uh, but anyways, I'll read this one here. Um, in this modern adaptation of the classic Edgar Rice Burroughs, I am saying that right, right? Yeah, Burroughs. Yeah, novel. U.S. soldier John Carter finds himself inexplicably, inexplicably, I can't speak that word, <laughs> transported <laughs> to Mars in the middle of a war between two alien races. Uh, one of those races probably being the second sexy women. Uh, considering sexy that one, women. <laughs> considering that our our heroine is apparently played by I should, Tracy I should, Lords. I should, I should, oh God, no, no, not that one. There we go. This looks... It's apparently... The main character is played by Antonio Sabato Jr. Why do I know that name? I don't know. He's in He's in things. Anyways, I'm moving that But, back. like, that's a name that you know. He looks like a gay porn star. He does. I guess I should move this again. That, that, that... Yeah, that's... And also, yeah. speaking of porn star, our heroine is apparently played by Tracy Lords. Is that an actual porn I star? I believe it is. Okay, well, this is... This should be good. Uh, let's see if it's gonna get uh, get our video <laughs> flagged on oh boy. YouTube. If this turn, if this is a wait, sixteen plus. Okay, it's not a porn parody. Oh, okay, fair enough. I was like, is this a porn Soft parody? Porn? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, anyways, let's get right into this before I... we incriminate ourselves more. You... Okay. You didn't turn our volume up. No. That's actually accurate to the looks of the aliens. They kind of look like pointy orcs. They kind of do. They turn it down a bit. Oh, that's a little bit soft court. Yeah, well, you know, they, they know titties out. No titties out. Just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of interest. A little BDSM, you know, it's all that. So, it, okay, that was in front of green screen. Yep. I'm not gonna go back, but <laughs> I'm just gonna say, um, is he supposed to have super strength on this planet or something? Yeah, because the gravity is different. Oh, okay. So, so he's unused to the gravity. So he's like, okay, so then he can, like, leap up and stuff. And you can, uh, like, throw things. That he was part of the Enhanced strength and speed kind of idea and, because of... Yeah, you can kind of sort of fly. Um, because yeah, he can just, like, leap really far. Uh, he Apparently this is a character, uh, John Carr's one of the inspirations for Superman. That's why in, like, the early Superman comics he can, like, leap really far. Because it's, like, a different... I'm thing. able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Mm -hmm. The fact that this is inspiration for Superman. Well, not this, but the character. Yeah. I think there's no like From this. James... Ca for James... What? Oh, go back. I think it said the inspiration for James Cameron's Avatar, which technically it is. And the inspiration for James Cameron's Avatar. So yeah, I, you're not wrong. Oh, God. This is going to be probably a short episode, by the way. This is not a long... No. Hold the fuck up. Go back. There are some titties there. No, I mean, I it covered, gonna, but still. I was going to say it. That's just like the Princess Leia slave bikini. Oh, yeah. That, they just got off like a. Costume. I think they changed the color a little bit. It's like greenish more. Of that. The same. Remember color. You're colorblind. Okay, so we got like discount CG Star Wars dinosaurs. creatures here, yeah. or what? And then I have a feeling that 98% of the movie is just going to be in the middle of a desert. Hey, it's cheap. With it's cheap who, filming in a desert. With I bet people who can't act. <laughs> oh no! What's going on? <laughs> oh, slow down there, William Shatner. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh my God! Really? Oh my god! Fuck. We are drawn to Asylum movies. They're too oh. perfect for the series, I they swear. Are. They are. I didn't even oh know. God. We've been bamboozled. Asylum's gonna hate us, honestly. It's, it's like, get that, get that bitch in here. I'll bet you anything, all these are probably porn stars. Oh, well, uh, discount porn stars, probably. Like, yeah, C-listers. Yes. These women are trying to touch me! Oh no! Hey, that's her main... You know what her main talent is? She's hot, and she can scream real good. There you go. That's all she needs in the movie. That's a... No, wait. That's a stock screen effect. 
What? That that was screaming. That, that scream? is stock. That is stock. Like the Wilhelm scream kind of is. Yes, but it's but, that is popular. Oh god. I swear to God, Antonio Sabato Jr. He's been in like other B movies, I think, and stuff, and he looks like a fucking game porn star. Do you have a lot? Of, I, I need to ask this. Do you have a lot of uh, practice <laughs> no, uh, watching gay porn? <laughs> I, I will. I will say this. This is gonna. You, there's a lot of safe for work clips on YouTube of really stupid porn scenes. A lot of them are gay porn for some reason. You don't understand. On, on Imager, the, the place I, I frequent a lot, there, there's a lot of gifs that are. Part of the, where they they've spliced a, por a gay porn scene. And he's like playing a guitar mm -hmm. or something like that. We we, we do we, we see weird shit, man. The oh internet is a place. Where am I? I think it's the fact that he looks very vacant and dull, <laughs> but, he's, but like but also like really muscular. It's like he he looks like a bodybuilder on. This drugs. is the guy that this is the pizza delivery man right. right here. Also the plumber, the uh, the, the pool guy, the electrician. Yep. You know, the mailman, mm -hmm. you know, he has to deliver his package. <laughs> I was waiting for a pun somewhere. I'm not gonna lie, she got a nice body. No, it's not too bad. That's probably one of her main, uh, fag that is a print, that is a slave lay, at least the top anyways. Yeah. The bottom is not, but the top know. looks yeah. a lot like the slave lay bikini. But I'm sorry. How they couldn't? They they had to have just replicated that because there's no way they could have gotten the original one. That oh no! They expensive. probably they probably went to the fucking local Halloween store and just bought it off the rack. Pun intended. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> Princess of Mars. The fact that this shows almost nothing is very suspect. Yeah. It shows so little. Oh my. Oh god. Well. Uh, it's probably schlock. Let's give our let's give our let's give our thoughts. It's probably schlock. I'm all. Are, I, you, are you gonna rate a schlock? I would not be surprised if it's like just awful from start to finish. I really wouldn't be, because the fact they show so little is incredibly it suspect. It's it only, does worry it's me. It's super short. There's, they don't. Sh there's no dialogue. It's just scenes over music. So I'm saying schlock. I have a feeling they they they've showed us nothing for a reason. I'm saying schlock, but again, I'm doing it for the second time. Your asterisk? There's a caveat or an asterisk of, I kind of want to watch it just once. I feel like this has the potential to be that so bad it's good. Oh, probably, but I, I don't think it is. I really don't think it is. But there's only one way to find out. Mm. What's the runtime? 93 minutes? Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. I we're both, we're still both going to say schlock. No. no. Sorry, what were you saying? I think. Are you thinking of making me watch this after this? No, no, <laughs> I don't. Well, maybe, I don't know. Uh, anyways, <laughs> God, maybe we'll watch until we can't watch anymore. Oh. <laughs> Two minutes in, uh, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Alrighty, so you've seen the trailer, you heard our thoughts on it. From here on out, it's up to you. Um, for my part, I, you know what? Try it. I think this is one you can try. You're being very favorable tonight. It's, we got more to come. So I, it's, 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 I'm just surprised this uh, this threw out, threw me for a loop that this was an asylum movie. I really shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I shouldn't be, but I did not. This actually looks too high quality for an asylum movie. Um, kind of, yeah. <laughs> That's saying something. <laughs> yes, I don't know. As soon as anything else I recognize, but no. Alrighty, so on that note, hope you enjoyed this. Look forward to more. Until next time, bye-bye.